Hello YouTube, today is just going to be a continuation of yesterday. I got a few more Tanganyikan tanks to do water changes on. I got to do a water change on the Copatochromus tanks. So stay tuned and we're going to see some great looking fish. So today I'm starting out in my Paris Cyprochromus tank. These are the blue neons. You can see even their fins. Nice neon blue. Gonna have to scrape that front glass. Just doing a water change. Not a whole lot to do in this tank. I do have to take the top out and clean the top. You see I got some algae growing on the underside from the bubble splashing up there. All right, so I got the water out of this tank. I scrubbed the front glass, although there's still some there. Still a lot better though, should look a lot better when it's filled back up. Now I'm going to move on to my 55 gallon Cyprochromus tank. These are tricolor jumbo black fin, something like that. I have it written down somewhere. Getting pretty big, there's also some Paris Cyprochromus in here that are breeding and I do have fry in there. Probably not going to scrape this glass though because this is not really a tank I spend too much time looking at and it doesn't really bother me that much. This is the 33 gallon right in front of it. Still with the betta fish, he's got the whole tank to himself. Just loving life in there. So I got it filled back up with water. Notice there's a rock missing over here. I moved that over to my Tropheus tank. You'll notice that black construction paper in the back. I put that there a long time ago when I was taking pictures in here. That's why all the rocks are piled up right there in front of it. I did figure out what these Cyprochromus are. If you've been watching my channel for a while, I've just been having them labeled as mystery Cyprochromus. I don't know why it's not gonna focus on them. But these are the bicolor, Cyprochromus leptosoma bicolor or Enconde, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Whereas the ones in my 55 gallon tank are the tricolor. So here's where I moved the rock over to the Tropheus tank, and of course, I scared them all, so I'm not gonna get a good shot at them. Stirred up a big mess, too, so. But these three pieces of rock are all the same type. I wish I remember where I collected these from because I really like the look of them. Up in the mountains somewhere though. All right, I also uh, did a water change on this tank here, which is the 40 gallon Copatochromis and Pseudotropheus Aurora tank. And they're all hiding. Female Copatochromis there down in the corner. Another female in the back between the rocks. This tank is looking pretty ratty in my opinion. The uh, Java Moss is just not doing well. It's not adjusting to the higher pH. So I might try to pull most of it out of there and then just go with like a Nubius and more jungle valve. Not sure yet. I got the 55 gallon filled back up but they're just not cooperating. I'm seeing if I can coax them out with some food here. Looks like they're starting to figure it out so we'll get them over here in the light. There's some uh, sand sifters there for you. There we go, now we're starting to get some action here. Not a lot of color in these fish yet. There's a kind of a bigger tricolor there. They've probably got another inch to go. Just now starting to color up. Well, they've been colored up for a while, but in another inch, they should have a lot more color, I hope. Because the uh, bicolors over there are about an inch smaller and already have more color, so. You know, if this is all the color these tricolors are gonna get, I'll probably end up selling them. Blue neon female there. Here comes a big male. A lot of algae on this glass though, can't really see. This is just a grow out tank, like, well, I guess like most of my tanks, right? So. Not too concerned about the algae in this tank. Plus, since the uh, blue neons are spawning, 
Just helps out the fry. Speaking of fry, let's go take a look at some. So I did mention yesterday that my female rusty cichlid was probably going to spit in the next day or two. And it's Saturday the next day and sure enough, she did spit her fry so I removed her, keeping the fry in here. Not exactly sure how many I got, but I haven't found any dead ones. There's a few more in the back there. Of course it just wants to focus on the algae. The never ending algae in my fish room. There's some kind of spread throughout the java moss here. There's one there if you can see it. Probably not. It's really hard to see in this tank with the glare and the air stone. But I'm guessing there's probably 20 or 30 of them in here. So that's pretty neat. They've, these have spawned for me before, but I've never kept them. So I figured I might as well keep a batch here and get my points for breeding them. Here we go, getting a nice shot of them coming to the front. Thanks, buddy. So I'll make up some rapashi for them. I love feeding rapashi to fry. They can just sit and graze on it. I'll probably use the spawn and grow. And then ooh, a couple back here. I have a hard time picking up the ones in the back. So I'll make up a batch of rapashi for them. I'll use the spawn and grow and then the algae one. I'll just kind of mix a 50 50. Can never remember the name of the algae one, even though I use it all the time. These guys are really going at it. Hey, you guys are just fry. You need to calm down. Here's what I was talking about. Soil and green, spawn and grow. I'll probably do 50-50 of each. You know, the spawn and grow is full of protein. The soil and green is full of whatever this word is I can never say. Off-wux. Off-wux? I have no idea. All right, so the water is cleared up a bit. Hoping to get some nice shot of some male cypochromus here, paracypochromus. Like that guy right there as he goes behind the rock. A couple of them hanging out over here, really starting to color up. Again, these are the Paracypochromus blue neon. These yellow guys here, I believe, are Cypochromus leptosoma bicolor in Conde, in Conde, something like that. Ooh, there you go, that guy's looking pretty nice. Oh, a couple of nice looking males in here. This little guy right here in the middle, he's gonna color up really nice too. Here we are on the end view of my 55 gallon that I just changed the water on. Little fry down there. I already get a good shot of these with the 33 gallon laying in front of the tank. And I only have like a 24 inch light on a four foot tank. But everything is still growing out here so I'm not too worried about showing them off or looking at them. So even the sand sifter, which is over three inches now, almost four inches, still doesn't have any color which is kind of surprising to me. That's a Paracypochromus blue neon fry there. And the water's still a bit cloudy in here. Just threw some food in there to try to get them to come out. See the Aurora still are not coloring up. Copatochromus are definitely coloring up though. All the males are colored up now. Of course, the dominant male is not coming out for some reason. All right, YouTube, so that wraps up this video. I hope you had fun hanging out with me doing some water changes on my Tanganyikan and one Copatochromis tank. This Wednesday's video, we're going to get back to some guppies and some betta fish, so keep an eye out for that. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see everyone tomorrow night on the live stream, hopefully.